The delegate from Newport News, Delegate Price. Yes, speaking to the amendment, Mr. Speaker. The delegate has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. We have discussed the value of different tax proposals, but here in this amendment, we draw a hard line. The chairman today said that the budget choices were made based on where there is need, but this amendment leaves behind a lot of need. This amendment literally strikes out making the EITC refundable and replaces it with doubling the standard deduction. This is a policy choice, and there are a couple of issues with that. First, it was mentioned today that the standard double deduction helps all taxpayers, but it doesn't. With this amendment, we leave behind 640,000 families who will not get the benefit of the huge investment of tax dollars to fund the actions that we're taking on the standard deduction. And further, there is overlap with the families, with these families and those that will not likely receive the taxpayer relief checks that we are also funding in this budget. These taxpayers pay a larger percentage of their income on taxes than other tax brackets. And those are their tax dollars too, Mr. Speaker, that are being used to help everyone else but them. You've heard me talk about how these families live across the Commonwealth in each of our districts, and a vote for this amendment tells them that they don't matter. This morning, Voices for Virginia's Children held a press conference with parents who were asking us to do the right thing. They talked about what they could do with the tax relief if, it, if we were to make the EITC refundable. These parents matter and need to be included when we talk about what parents want. Today, they talked about the necessities of life that could be more affordable if their tax refund was bigger and there's just not enough coverage for them in doubling the standard deduction. Second, we are making a false choice, Mr. Speaker. We are choosing only to do the doubling of the standard deduction and the, give the tax rebates. But if we made some adjustments, we could do those and choose to help others with the EITC. We have several pots of money, Mr. Speaker, that are being held for rainy days. And Mr. Speaker, if we were to talk to some of these families that are being left behind, I think they would tell you it's a monsoon outside. Making the EITC refundable is the way to provide significant relief to working families who may be left out of the other two proposals, and it is the one that has kept more children out of poverty than any other tax credit program. In order to get a budget that provides tax relief for all Virginians, I urge us to vote no on this amendment. The delegate from Virginia Beach, Delegate Knight. Uh, speaking to the amendment. The delegate has the floor. Yes, sir, Mr. Speaker. This uh, does double the deduction for personal income filers from 4,500 to 9,000 for single filers and from 9,000 to 18 for married filers. By comparison, the federal standard deduction is almost $26,000 for married joint filers. So there's a big disparity in here. We've seen what the federal government has done in here by trying to encourage us during this past pandemic about putting some extra dollars in our pocket. We thought this was a good idea for the state of Virginia also. If it, did, if it worked for the federal government, for goodness sakes, maybe it'll work for Virginia. So I'll move the amendment. Shall the amendment be agreed to? Clerk will close the roll. Ayes 52, noes 48. Ayes 52, noes 48. The amendment is agreed to.